Hey, this is Brian, thanks for watching Keys. In today's video, yes, we are working on the G80 M3. A lot of you guys have been asking, a lot of people think I blew it up, I didn't blow it up. There is a little bit of a story to what happened and kind of why the last video of this car about a year ago went up in smoke. We've been filming that video for about a year. Now in that video, we're going to be putting this car next to Andrew's 1150 horsepower G20 M340i. If you didn't see that video, we have it linked below. The car is an absolute monster. So before I race Andrew, I do have a a couple things that I need to work out on the car, which is what I'm going to bring you guys along with today. Now on the table, I do have a couple different products that I'm going to be installing. First up, on the front of our table here, we have the brand new, first in the United States, five piece dry carbon fiber Daler front lip. This lip is absolutely amazing. If you remember from the video where the G80 kind of went up in smoke, we also had the G81 wagon here in the United States. And on the car, there was a 3D printed version of this lip. It was just a mock-up prototype. This is the real deal. One of the things that I love about this and why we're going to be putting it on the car is Daler is right now actively doing speed testing with the TUV to make sure that this is going to stay on on the German Autobahn. But I don't know of any other company that is actively speed testing their front lips. So I am super excited to get this on and to know that it's not gonna fly off at 150 miles an hour going down the track. Behind it over here, this might look like it's an intake for a B58. This is MST's all new intake, their version two. You can see that this is injection molded plastic. It's no longer just the aluminum version one like I have on the car right now. This is their newest, latest and greatest. And as you can see, there are two inlets and this is a single side intake with a, look at this thing. Look how massive this thing is. It'll fit it over the camera right there. This thing is absolutely gigantic and it's going to enable all of that cold air to be sucked in on one side so it doesn't have to pull it across the front of the engine. Super excited to install this as well. And then over here, I have to, this is more of like a maintenance odds and ends thing. As many of you know, I have a max ECU that runs my port injection and whatnot. And as I have it set up right now, my port injection for my secondary pump runs all the time. So I get in the car, and it just starts up even if I am totally idling. Not really the best thing because what can happen is you can burn the pump up from just having it run and run and run and run. So Precision Raceworks sent out a new wiring harness and this is actually going to be tapping into the max ECU so that I can have it come on at a certain RPM and boost level so I'm not prematurely burning out the pump. <sighs> So as you can see, we got a lot going on. So let's throw the car up in the air and there might be a surprise under the car as well. All right, so let's start off by removing my Vorsteiner lip. This lip is still mostly intact, although if you do look close, it does have a small crack because I had a little bit of an incident like two years ago with a parking block, but luckily it is so subtle that I brought it to multiple Beamer invasions, multiple car shows, and not one of you noticed, so ha. So Joe just pointed out, I'm wearing my G80 shirt today, working on the G80. We have some cool merch now, not just uh, just the Keys logo. So we have the red F80, we have the green, we have a blue Porsche, which is really cool. And then we also have one of Andrew's car on the way. So be sure to check them out. That was nice. All right, so the crack starts here and it goes all the way down here to about here. It's really not that bad. If you sand it and re-clear re it, you'll never even know. All right, so now that we have the old lip off the car, it is filthy and I need to clean it. And what better way to clean it than with some 70% isopropyl alcohol. And what is this over here? The all new 200 GSM Keys microfiber towels that are soft, absorbent, and reusable. If you watch pretty much any of our videos where I have to clean anything, I'm using these tech to make sure carbon and stuff doesn't get scratched. I typically line tables with them. And after using them so much, I thought, you know what? Let's try to make a little bit better product than what we found out there. And then let's provide them to you guys as well. They work so much better than those blue paper towels. I can't stand those things because I go through like 40 of them, but that's enough talking about them. Let's use them. <laughs> Wait, does that say keys? Hmm, maybe there's a new product coming soon. Yeah. 
Now with this lip, what we're going to have to do is I need to reinstall the factory side pieces, the, the gloss black ones that came on the car, because this is actually going to go and it's going to attach to that and also under that. And don't quote me on this, but that's probably part of the reason because it has such a solid core that they're able to take the speed so high with this lip. So let me go grab the factory parts, we'll throw them on, then we'll continue with the lip installation. Now when it comes to installing this, Daler includes this very nice adhesive. And basically what they tell you to do is to put it on, put this piece on, on to let it set for 24 hours or so. Now, if you do that, it is going to be very, very, very permanent and it is not going to come off at all. What I'm going to do in lieu of using the adhesive is I'm going to line this just with some 3M tape. We have had very good luck with tape in the past. I've never had an issue with anything flying off. Let's tape it up and throw these on. All right, the front lip is fully installed. And not only does it look awesome, this is the firmest fitting lip I have ever installed on any car. This thing is not going anywhere, even at high speeds when I race Andrew in his G20. Now we alluded to it just a little bit earlier, but while we are here, I do want to show you our new skid plate. On my old F80 M3, you may have heard me talk about this before. I had a situation where I went up a driveway and there was a little bit of a dip and I smashed it on a rock, like absolutely smashed it. If I didn't have a skid plate, I would have destroyed my oil cooler, my oil would have been everywhere, and I probably would have had engine failure. Another cool thing about this, just like OEM, we have a spot for this rubber flap to go on. As the air is going here, it hits it and it ducks down. It's going to change the pressure in this area, and it's going to help evacuate the air to help with airflow and also cooling. So keep an eye on the site because that's going to be listed out very soon. All right, cars on the ground, it's intake time. All right, intake is in and it looks excellent. Now what I need to do is I need to fix my little wiring issue that I talked about earlier. Then once the car is back together, we're gonna take it for a drive, test the fueling, and also see how good the MST intake sounds. All right, we got everything all situated. So let's see how the car pulls. It pulls. <laughs> wow, I haven't been in this car in so long. Oh my gosh. This thing sounds so good. And it pull I forget how pulled how like I, I can't even talk. I forget how strong this thing pulls because I haven't driven it in a while. I've been driving the 911. We've had this apart for probably a month doing different projects and some R&D stuff that you guys are gonna really like. I'm only on E60. This isn't even full power. That was crazy. The intake. It sounds so good. You can just hear the suction coming from that side of the car. Before you can kind of hear it from both sides, which makes sense because of the intake, but now you just hear like where the turbos are, you just hear this like suction sound and then it's like a blow off valve when you let off.
<laughs> this thing's wild. Where's this thing been? We're gonna crush Andrew. Shh. Don't tell him. Okay, intake. We're focusing on the intake. It sounds great. Let's pull over. I'll throw my microphone in the engine bay and then you can hear what it sounds like. It's a little bit unrealistic because it's inside the engine bay, but just so you guys can know how much that thing is doing up there. Let's drop the mic in there, go for a quick spin. All right, so I just retrieved my mic from the engine bay. And in the words of Joe, after checking out the footage, it sounds like an alien distress signal because it is so loud in the engine bay. Especially with all of the airflow with the new intake, it's really hard to capture sounds because there's just so much sound, but it sounds really good even with the windows closed and everything with the noise canceling BMW. Be sure to stay tuned. Again, if you're looking for one of our cool key shirts, if you're looking for a Daler front lip, an MST intake, a BM3 tune, or so much more, check us out at keys.com. We have links to our site and everything down in the description below. But that's Joe in the passenger seat filming. My name is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Check us out at keys.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.